Hello again, and for this video, I'll be walking through how to make a single and a double linked list circular. This is a build up from both previous videos on single and double linked list implementation. So I'm assuming you already watched them because I'll be using code down there. So the only thing special about circular linked list is the fact that the tail points to the head. That way, if you are iterating through it, you can go around and around. So I have both single and double linked list here, and I'll be overriding three methods, push, insert and remove with very tiny change. So first for the single linked list, I'll create a circular linked list that extends it. I'm going to copy the push method from linked list to here. And the only change I'm doing is after all this and before incrementing the size, I'll make the node, which is now the last node to point to the head. Now I can instantiate it and add 10, 20 and 30 and print the list. And we see that element 30, which is the last points to the element 10. And that's it for push. Similarly, I'll copy the insert method over here and do some changes. And inside the if block, I need to handle two conditions. If the list is empty, meaning I am inserting the first item, I'll make the node point to itself. Else, I need to find the last node in the list and make it point to the new node. Then make the node the new head and everything else remains the same. Now, if I push zero to the start, we see 30 now points to zero. Then I insert 100 at the end and we see that it points back to zero and 30 points to 100. Awesome. Now down to remove method. And again, I'll copy it over and similarly, I'll just change the if block. So I need to check if this is the last item on the list. So I check if the size is one and make the head null. Otherwise, I'll get the last item, make the element following the head, the new head and make the last point to the new head. Now, if I climb down and remove the element at zero, we see that 100 now points to 10, the new head. If I remove the last item, the 100, I see that 30 was updated to point to 10 also. All done for the single linked list. So now I can create my circular double linked list and extend double linked list. And I also copy the push method over here. And the only changes I do is make the new tail point to the head. I'll just continue with insert. So I'll copy over and everywhere where I set the tail, I'll make it point to the head also. And that's all. Finally, the remove method. So I'll copy it over. And again, two changes. First, right after I set the new head and here where I set null, I will erase it with the head node. And that's all. I don't know if you noticed, but as I implement these lists, they become easier and easier. And that's the power of inheritance object oriented programming. So I perform all same checks like I did before and I get same results, different list. Next, we got the sorting and sorting is not as boring as this. And it is an interesting algorithm to learn. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye bye.